I suppose it's because they're all just bits of cardboard, but they're worth different amounts. And it's a universal currency in a way that everybody understands around the world. And it's also a bit of fun and they look cool. <laughs> My name is Nettie Wakefield. I'm an artist working and living in London. This is my studio. This is my work. <laughs> um, uh, my process, I would say, is um, first to map out whatever I'm drawing in, in a 2H pencil, usually, and then work on it section by section, usually from the top left to the bottom right so I don't smudge it with my hand um, unless it's a painting which is easier. The cigarettes and the, the beer and then these um, like sweet wrappers and the double decker there are all part of a, um, a series of, of, of rubbish. I mean there's actually a, a drawing of rubbish but it's in bubble wrap there um, where it's about seeing the beauty in, in um, ordinary objects that we take for granted. So that's kind of what I did in Art on a Postcard. I did some little cards. Um, I've always been interested in drawing cards. I've done quite a few cards. I suppose it's because they're all just bits of cardboard, but they're worth different amounts. And it kind of, it's a universal currency in a way that everybody understands around the world and it's also a bit of fun and they look cool. <laughs> um, um, but I don't usually work in colour that much except for, for this series, which has actually been turned into a clothing collaboration as well, which is coming out at the end of the month with these printed on. That one is part of it as well, the, the chewing gum and the bow. And then this one is a print of um, a larger drawing, just like an A1 drawing of an anatomical drawing of a unicorn, which just makes me happy. I did a minotaur as well and a, um, a mermaid. Okay, I'm drawing a blank. But anyway, they just make me happy because it's like pretending that they're real. And then I like to play with humor as well in my work. That's just like an in inside joke with myself. <laughs> so like the Yas Queen, if anyone's watched Broad City, they'll get it. Otherwise, it probably won't mean anything to you. Um, the Your Place or Mine. And then there was a few more from that series as well from a while ago. Um, actually, I don't have any left. And then there's some random fish, fish illustrations from a, a book that I illustrated for Mark Hicks. And... Um, that's about it.